Hello, everyone. I am Jacqueline. I am a PhD student from Brazil. And today I'd like to show you a little bit about the first results that I got from my PhD work. And this talk is entitled First Complete Chloroplast Genome in Species or Key Genus Epidendrum Enables Reference Guided Assembly of Other Congeners. So the genus Epidendrum is one of the largest plant groups in the neotropics, and it has approximately 1,800 species. And as you can see in this image here, it is very morphologically diverse. So this is Epidendrum fulgens, which is the species that we are currently focusing the work. And it is a perennial herb. It is widely distributed in the coastal sand dunes of the Brazilian Atlantic forest. And its genome size is around 1.4 gigabases. And to assemble a fulgens chloroplast genome, we extracted DNA from leaf tissue from an ordered individual, and we performed PET biosequencing. So we generated long hi-fi reads. And then as reference, we used a chloroplast genome of a related species, Cadelia liputana. And then we performed um, de novo assembly by manually tiling the reads into context. The annotation was done in chloroblox and the visualization in OGDRAW. So this is our epidendrum fulgens chloroplast genome. And it had 115 unique gene features, being 79 protein coding genes, 32 transfer RNAs, and four ribosomal RNAs. And by having this chloroplast genome, we were able also to develop a new pipeline for the Genovo assembly of other species chloroplast genomes as well. So we retrieved 27 epidendrum sequences from NCBI and also the sequences for the outgroups, which were all from the subfamily Epidendroidae. And then the multiple sequence alignment was done in MAFT, and the phylogeny was built in RexML under maximum likelihood, using a GTR plus gamma substitution model and 500 bootstrap replicates. So finally, this is our epidendrum phylogeny. And as you can see here, we got um, good support from bootstrap values. And we have here um, epidendrum fulgens. We have also the, the outgroups clustering together um, outside the main epidendrum branch. And to conclude, um, using this de novo pipeline, we were able to present a well-resolved phylogeny using chloroplast genomes. And this is the first one in the genus epidendrum. And it could complement other previous phylogenies that were based on single regions or only on a few markers. And that's it for today. Thank you very much. I hope you liked it and feel free to contact me.